butterfly. No, that's a flower. Flower? Uh-huh, it's pretty. <laughs> Flower. Me? If he wants to. <laughs> I don't mind. Pretty, pretty flower. You know, for every animated movie that comes out and, and sticks around, there's 15, 20, 30 that come out and they come and go and no one really remembers them and they just kind of disappear. At what point in your life did you realize that Bambi was going to be one of those movies that didn't go anywhere? About uh, 1975, 78, um, when they, it came out the first time in the reel to reel, remember those? <laughs> right. Huh? And all the children were standing in line in San Diego to, to get a copy. I said, wait a minute, I was part of that. But I never told anybody. I never told anybody in the Marine Corps. Never. 25 years, mute, okay? And all the children buying them and the parents buying them. I said, golly, I'm part of that. <laughs> you know? And it made me very proud, but I still didn't tell anybody. Mm -hmm. So, but it did take, it took you, what, 30 years for you to realize, to realize that this was really something special. This wasn't just a movie that came yeah. and went, that this was something le legitimate. Yes, and the reason for it is, I think, it tells five or six stories in 90 minutes. Drama, courage, fear, laughter, real serious laughter, and some messages that we get every time we watch it. <clears throat> now, I've watched it about seven or eight times now, no more than that and I learned something every single time. Okay? It took me three or four times to appreciate what, <laughs> what that little um, uh, uh, skunk, remember skunk, mm -hmm. Flower? Yeah? <laughs> when Flower said, that's all right, he can call me Flower if he wants to. Very subtle message about calling people names, good names, bad names. Uh, I didn't pick up on that the first time. And um, at the very end, when <clears throat> Bambi goes up on the rock plateau, at the end of the film, and his very distinguished father turns grac graciously and goes away. A complete cycle of life, from birth to now, I'm in charge and I'm responsible for the forest. Okay? How many films, animated or live characters, tell so many stories in 90 minutes? Working with, uh, with Walt Disney, what kind of man was he like? He was a worker, mm -hmm. a real worker. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I was six and a half, I wasn't a, a student enough to, to appreciate Mr. Disney and Disney Studios. He was just, his name was there, and he, wasn't like a, he was not like a boss. I did not see him in that way at all. He was a sleeves up, help, help, help. You know, and that, that was my seventh film, okay, and my, my first voiceover. Mm -hmm. All the others were on uh, sound stages watching everybody many times in those first six films, when some producer or some serious senior person would come around, uh, the workers, the crew, the actors would say, oh my gosh, here, here comes so-and-so, here comes so-and-so, do this, do this, like they were afraid of him, you know? Not with Mr. Disney. When he came around, Walt's coming, he'll help that, ask him about Get that, up. he'll do that, and he did. Mm -hmm. So he's a good man. He's a good man.
They call me Thumper. They call me Thumper. Thumper. You know, you did what, seven films total in, in between 38 and, and 41. That, in, but what? Why did you stop? Was there a period that I mean, did you not want to do it anymore? Uh, I think the lead cause was Pearl Harbor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It changed everything. Uh, like, I wish I was your age. <laughs> it changed everything radically. Um, within two or three weeks of Pearl Harbor, there were uh, Army troops aboard Disney lot mm -hmm. marching around and uh, for all kinds of good reasons. And uh, uh, Disney did not make any of the films for entertainment uh, for at least three years that I know of, three and a half during the war. He supported the, quote, then War Department with all kinds of training films and motivational films. Uh, and uh, my family had some trouble with the war and, and uh, other personal things, and it broke up from age 14 forward in my life. I supported myself in a boarding house uh, from then to now. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, never, I never looked back on it. I don't think I mentioned it to anybody from about age 9 forward, all the films. In fact, <laughs> my, wife, <laughs> my wife and I were married for two years uh, before she discovered the films. And uh, when she found them in a box, okay, what's this, what's this, what's this? You know, why didn't you tell me about this? Well, I just didn't, you know. I ate peanut butter for a week. <laughs> no, that's an exaggeration, but pretty close. Hello? What you eating? Hello? It's awfully good. It's delicious. Why don't you try some? No, no, not that green stuff. Just eat the blossoms. That's the good stuff. Thumper? Yes, Mama. What did your father tell you? About what? About eating the blossoms and leaving the greens. Oh, that one. <coughs> eating greens is a special treat. It makes long ears and drapes big feet, but it sure is awful stuff to eat. I made that last part up myself. But you told me that, that when, uh, when you joined the Marines that you didn't tell anyone. Did, wh why didn't you tell people? I'd like to tell you there was a cognitive, a fancy reason for not doing that. It'd be a fib. Okay? I didn't think about it. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to build a life, new career. I wanted to be a medical doctor. Korean War kind of preempted that. Um, and some other things, but I just didn't think about it. Uh, there were whole periods of time, five or six years in a block, that I never thought about any of the films, okay? And that's the candor of that, okay? Uh, <laughs> five years ago, five and a half years ago, in San Angelo, Texas, right down the road here, okay? Uh, a nice old lady, thanks to my, my wife going ba 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 ba. Uh, oh, she's sitting here too, I'm in trouble. Uh, <coughs> I let it out. And uh, Disney found out I was still sucking air, and I was okay, you know. And then all this began, mm -hmm. and it's been a joy. Mm -hmm. uh, I was raised by some very strong men in the Marine Corps from World War II. And I, I went in, in in early January, 53. They were still around, right? That if you achieve things, if, if you have the, the luck to have done some significant things, don't talk about it. Mm -hmm. okay? My first commanding officer had... Navy crosses and, and, and bronze stars and silver stars galore from World War II. I never saw him wear them for months and months until a parade, and I was flabbergasted. I asked a very astute first sergeant, why doesn't Colonel uh, 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 wear, his, wear his medals and his ribbons? He, says, he doesn't need to. He doesn't need to show off to be a leader. And that stuck in here, mm -hmm. real hard. A, a dear friend of mine just recently pointed out to me the irony of my life with Bambi. Bambi was shot, got down on the deck. His father had his, that magnificent uh, deer, big rack, had to come up. Bambi, get up. Get up, you must get up. I've used that several times with other people and maybe myself. I was shot more than once, and I got up, and I'm still here with you. Mm -hmm. The irony of that is, is worth thinking about, isn't it? Absolutely, huh? absolutely. Is, are there ever any moments when you wish you could have gone back and told anybody? Are there any, any people in your life that you wish, like, I kind of wish I had told them, like, they would have appreciated that? Yeah, <laughs> I should have told several of the Marine Corps, because when they found out, mm -hmm. you know, they're all retired, you know, mm -hmm. and some of them gone. 
when they found out five and four years ago that I was Bambi and Son of Frankenstein, I could have handled Son of Frankenstein mm -hmm. in Marine Corps. I'm sure I got called worse than that sometimes. You know? <laughs> but um, uh, when they found out, I, I caught blazes. Mm -hmm. and, the, and the camera and my wife being president is piecing up my vocabulary. I caught blazes. <laughs> We're not telling, <laughs> telling anybody. And <clears throat> a very uh, astute question is, is asked often, why didn't you tell guys in the Marine Corps? Now, Bambi was a courageous figure. You know, the last quarter of the film is getting up from being wounded and doing all kinds of things and fighting those, those dogs on the, on the cliff. But the, the image of most young people <laughs> and parents, a Bambi is a little frail deer who can't, he's wobbly, you know, he can't stand up, gets on the ice and goes, <laughs> you know. So when I heard that they were going to re-release it in 75, around 75, in the reel to reel, I thought, if Disney puts credits on there, you know, and they showed it. The, I'm, a, I'm a battalion commander in the Marine Corps, right? <laughs> and I went through all the ranks to get there. I mean, it wasn't automatic. You know? If Disney put credits on there and they show it in the base theater and some young corporal or some young lieutenant writes home, Dear Mom, my commanding officer is Bambi. You know? <laughs> I didn't think that would fly very well, so guess what? I pushed my chicken button and kept flying. <laughs> Maybe he wouldn't be if you'd say hello. <laughs> hello, Bambi. I said hello. Well, aren't you going to answer her? You're not afraid, are you? Well, then go ahead. Say hello. hello. When you look at all, all of the, the animated movies that are coming out today, are there any that stand out to you? There, are there any that, that really you know, mean something to you? I enjoy them, mm -hmm. but nothing special. Nothing special. Bambi was really special to Mr. Disney. Now, I did not know that as a child at six and a half. You know, I'm, 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 I'm trying to find out where the ice cream machine is. You know, right. You know? But uh, over the years, and you know, I'm 77, I've learned something. I've learned that he uh, went into hawk on Bambi, and he was a, a, a complete, that was his fifth animated film, and he was a very established producer and director. Um, he went into hawk, and I think Bank of America pitched in and helped him capitalize the last part of it. <coughs> Blu-ray can bring out some of these colors now like you cannot imagine, because Mr. Disney insisted for the first time in all the animation films by anybody, that, that some of the background, the majority of the background, was done in oil paintings, like an artist's oil and not watercolor. And if they had been watercolor, I don't think that this magnificent Blu-ray edition would show quite so brightly. And it is unbelievable, absolutely gorgeous. Oh, you've seen it? I've seen it. Oh! I've seen it. One of the greatest honors of my life talking with you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you so You're much. It's a pleasure. Welcome.